The French word coterie refers to a small group of people with shared interests or tastes. It's typically exclusive, but the co-founders of the Coterie in Boulder have launched a website meant for anyone and everyone. Their goal? To streamline fashion design and help ideas become wearable items. The coterie is a French word that you borrowed and sort of Americanized the spelling of. And I think it's very interesting that you picked that word because it references like a small, like a niche something. The shoppers that are buying the designs are entering a small group of people, a club essentially. They're buying into a story um, that the designer has created for them. And the co-founders of the coterie are finding that story is a bit different than they initially intended. Instead of attracting fashion designers, many people using their site are, first and foremost, visual artists. Did you ever think that one of your paintings would become a piece of clothing? I've used my art on clothing previously. However, as an artist, I'm busy and occupied already too. So the idea of producing clothing would be um, harrowing. So um, working with the Coterie allows me to use my work, do what I do best, um, be a designer and an artist, and they take care of everything else. There are a lot of moving parts to this business. Not a lot of people think about t-shirts as being something that's hard to make. And unless you're in the industry and know that, you just think t-shirts are like the simplest thing in the world. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes before you can slip into any garment. But Char and Trish saw an opportunity, simplify the design process. That's why they launched the Coterie. Talk about the actual nuts and bolts of the design process. We've built a browser-based design tool where designers can select a pattern, choose their fabrics for every panel of the garment, select Pantone colors to dye it, upload their own original artwork to sublimate or screen print, and once they're satisfied with the design, then they can set a retail price and submit it and launch their campaign, essentially. Typically, when you design a product, you have to source the fabric, and then you have to buy it and do a fabric minimum, and then you have to make the patterns, and then you have to do the prototyping. So we've done all that upfront process, and you're essentially selling it ahead of time. So not only are you saving on the whole development process upfront, but you're also selling into it before you purchase into that inventory. The result? It's a limited run piece of wearable art. Damon Red, who goes by the name Baz, is one artist turned designer who has had success with that process. His designs are a nod to the state of Colorado. Do you remember when the design got delivered and you got to see the first finished t-shirt? What went through your mind? I couldn't have been happier with how it turned out. It was the first time I've done a small run, full custom, made in the US. This is this going is to be leggings. This is a strike off of the leggings that I just did. And it's the topography of Red Rocks with the Colorado flag through it. And I have the amphitheater right where the sea is. And the leggings look incredible. The first sample blew me away. And now we have a wait list longer than the amount of leggings we have, which is a great problem to have. Were you surprised by the people who you're getting to the site to design, or did you expect to get artists? When we first launched the site, I thought we were catering a lot more towards um, you know, fashion students, for instance. What we found is that the site is also attracting painters and photographers and graphic designers and, and illustrators. Uh, and it's been really wonderful to watch the evolution there. Part of what you do at Coterie is to help designers keep the price point low. So how are you balancing made in America goods with a price point that they're finding palatable? Quality is really important to us. Made in the USA is absolutely a little more expensive than it is to go overseas, and that's because of the quality and because you can assure that everything is ethically produced. So we're not a bargain basement site. Everything in the site is, is moderately priced. We're not luxury, we're not you know, a $300 t-shirt, but we're also not a $5 t-shirt. And what we're finding is that people are willing to pay for that art. What can art do? I believe art can just affect your mood. I think when you get up in the morning, what you decide to put on your body is the choice you're making for the day you're gonna have. If you were really in love with the art piece and how it made you feel, you get to carry that with you all day.